one one big area that you identify in the report as well is the cost of energy. Mm -hmm. And I was so I was very surprised to see how much it costs to, uh, to and this is what just fuel costs that have, have shot your expenses out of control. Yeah, it's it, it's it's principally you know heating oil um, uh, cost, uh, but there's electric cost as well. And what we we spend roughly a little less than six hundred million dollars a year. Uh, on energy expenses um, uh, in public housing across the city, across the five boroughs. Mm. Uh, and so we are looking at massive ways that we can retrofit our buildings um, with, uh, with higher efficiency boilers, um, instantaneous hot water heaters, um, ensuring that the building envelopes are secure and that energy um, isn't, isn't creeping out and being lost. That alone um, will, will take billions of dollars to make those investments, but those investments have a huge operating payback in terms of our ongoing annual operating expense and energy costs. Mm -hmm. uh, do the energy costs get passed on to the tenant? Um, to, to a certain extent, yes, although not on a, uh, not on a unit by unit basis uh, within a public housing residence, rent mm -hmm. um, is some component of quote unquote their utility costs. The problem is individual apartments aren't metered, and so it's not as if, you know, if Errol Lewis uses less energy than John Rhea, that there's a reflection in our, 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 our rent payments. Right, right.